He's I'm such obsessed a, with cats. I, I, me too. Sometimes I look at my cat and I tear up because I can't believe that she's my <laughs> I love cat. That. Hey guys, it's Nian, and this is Beauty With Me. This week, I got my makeup done by two YouTube legends. Sam and Nick Chapman, AKA the Pixie Woos. I was so excited to have their hands on this face. It was such a cool experience. They taught me how to do their go-to nighttime look. And then I tried to do it myself the following day. Uru, don't eat the plant, stop it. But before we get started with the whole tutorial and whatnot, please make sure you are subscribed down below. As you guys know, Beauty With Me comes out every Monday at 11 a.m. And without further ado, I'll shut up now and let Sam and Nick do the talking. Shall we get started? Let's get started. Take it away, Nick. Okay. Nick is gonna do skin and cheeks, and I'm gonna do the eyes. No matter what your skin type, you must moisturize. I'm still using a primer that has a shine to it because I don't want your skin to look matte, I just want it to stay in place a bit longer. My favourite is brush. Such a Wait, brush. what? what? Yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> it looks you know so pretty. pretty. Yeah, I know. It's had, a, it's had a facelift. I am using a By Terry foundation. It's great because it is, it's got a little shine through it as well. Teamwork. Nice, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sister. Chanel. So laid a tan. Yeah. My first time using it. I love this product. So I'm just putting this on the high points of the face. I don't want it to be a contour. I want it to be, give you just a nice glow like you've been in the sun. Nice. It's just kissed your skin, nothing more. Can you just do the neck down there? Of course. I can't get it. That's why it's good. There's two of us and one of us is left-handed. I am going to use Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and start with the bronze. I'm going to use this Rebel Edge brush. And this is a new brush. This I've never used brush. this before. This is a Rebel Edge brush. This came about because we were designing brushes and they brought in a prototype of a brush that had been, when they made it, it hadn't been fully functioned around and we were like, I love that. Can you actually make it like that? I like to use two highlighters as well. So that goes on first, just to give you a slightly pinky tone. Now I know I spend a long time on skin, but there's a reason. It looks lovely. Make me look alive. Your skin looks amazing. I don't mind saying so myself. I'm just using what's left on the brush as a base for the eyeshadow. Because I'm using shimmery eyeshadows, I want a little bit of the cream to really Thank grab you. hold of. Always start with the brush where you want the most colour payoff. So we're going to start at the lash line and work our way upwards. That way we get a natural blend towards the brow. Now I know you're going to recreate this, so I, I want to make it a little bit challenging. That's gonna... the goal. <laughs> what trends do you really want to just like go away? That you just don't get them? I'm so done with liquid lips. Yeah, I've actually heard a lot of people say that. What do you hate about them? I just think that they look really flat. Yeah. You know, just really matte, they really flat. Look like, I just think, lick your lips, they look so dry. When you go to do this yourself, I'm using the profile of the brush. So I'm just putting the product just on the very tip. Mm -hmm. Don't overload the brush or you're going to get in a right old mess. So British. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now we're going to pop some eyeliner on. Sometimes your sister just makes too much fall mm -hmm. down on your makeup. She's trying to sabotage me. I'm just going to push this on with my finger. Just a little bit of gold. How do you feel about that, sis? Nice. Need the approval. Approval process. Yes. I like doing eyes because I get bored very easily of doing the same thing. I just, I like all of the colours and all the textures and I'm always mixing things to find something different and new and exciting. I think really our blog probably wouldn't have come about without both of our passions for yeah. trying out new things. Yeah. We always, you know, we'll try things out on ourselves before we go on a shoot just so we have a couple of ideas and then take pictures of it, snaps of it online it goes and and, then it became and that's like it, it became this thing big thing. It is. I just think the beauty industry has stormed and, and that's a great thing, you know, mm -hmm. I think it's every person's right to understand makeup and how to apply it, so I do think it's a great thing and like I prefer people to learn something yeah. and then... And that's always been what you're Yeah, about. yeah totally. it's always you know, been about always that. Been an artistry channel. Yeah, absolutely. Education. Right, I want to pop a little bit of this on your brows. Okay. This is just a Stila waterproof brow pencil, but I just want to give you a little bit more brownish. Ultra rich lip colour, Tom Ford, revolve around me. Mm. Again, we're keeping it quite soft. I'm just running a little bit more concealer just down here where it was. Tidy ups, tidying up my sloppy work. And this then... is exactly why we don't set the skin 
until right at the end because we can still go in, see where things seem to have worked into the skin, where we need more coverage and correct it. You look really beautiful. Not that you didn't before, but... Beautiful. That's it, isn't it, Nix? Just Are we done? to blend that. Oh, well, yeah, you know what we're like. We could just oh, do I know. this We could do this forever and your eye makeup would get bigger and bigger and more fabulous. Done. Ta-da. Can I see it? Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, it's so pretty. My skin looks really good. Eyes are nuts. I'm I'm scared. <laughs> You'll be fine. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming here. That's I feel nice. so blessed, touched by angels. <laughs> and I'll keep you posted. I'm going to do this tomorrow, so we will see how it goes. Bye. 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 Hi, it's me again, and I am back to tell you about how it went when I tried to do this look on my own. So Sam and Nick really broke it down for me because they are amazing individuals. Not gonna lie, I don't think my look came out quite like theirs did, but I did my best. I started off with just doing my base, trying my best to mimic the really beautiful, like, glowy skin that Nick created on me. I used my own foundations for this, really loaded up on the bronzer, keeping it nice and light, using a fluffy brush. That was actually pretty easy. A little odd that NARS Orgasm was used kind of as a highlighter, but I actually really liked the look. It kind of gave this nice kind of pinky glow. Then came the kind of harder part, the eyes. Sam did a really cool, like, smoky, kind of goldish, halo-y eye on me, which looked so gorgeous. I'm pretty bad at smoky eyes. So this is a good little exercise in practice makes perfect. Don't think I got it perfect, but maybe I'll try again next week. Sam told me to use a taupe shade all over my lid and then deepening it up with some of the darker shades in the palette and then following up with a little bit of the gold on my finger, not a brush, on the center of my lid. Then I followed up with some eyeliner just to define my eyes a little bit, some mascara, and then it was time to move on to the rest. Not gonna lie, I'm not sure how well I did on this. Please let me know in the comments below if you feel the same way that I do about smoky eyes. But I just kinda called it a day and went on to my eyebrows. All three of us have had our eyebrows microbladed before. Stay tuned for a very fun video on that. So she used this cool eyebrow pen on me from Stila to define my eyebrows. Like It's a really cool product because it really sticks on. Uh, and then I moved on to lips. I don't wear nude lipstick very often, so it was fun to kind of pair the smoky eye that I don't wear very often with a nude lip that I also don't wear very often. I powdered a little bit using some of my trusty Laura Mercier translucent powder just in the areas that I need it, so my T-zone, uh, because Nick was like, let's keep the rest of the skin dewy, which is actually kind of nice, because I usually powder my face like to oblivion. Definitely a surreal experience for the books. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorite Pixie Woo tutorial is. And I will catch you next week. Bye. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Click here to subscribe to Refinery29. Click here to watch another video. And follow me on Instagram at mian.chan so we can hang out there too. See you next time. Bye.